Well, it's been plastered all over social media sites that this weekend we can enjoy a rare spectacle in the sky, a blue moon next to a bright red Mars. Many of the reports I've seen suggest the moon will actually turn a stunning blue colour and be joined by an unusually large bright red Mars. Now, I know it would look stunning and I, for one, would love to see that, but the reality is somewhat different and has its roots in the movements of the moon, Mars and Earth. Well, let's tackle the blue moon first. We've all said it, I've said it. Clear skies when I'm free for observing happens once in a blue moon. It's a phrase that simply means something is pretty rare, like a blue moon, which is equally rare. But unlike the reports I've seen, the moon won't actually turn blue in colour. That said, the moon can turn blue if there's a load of dust thrown up into the atmosphere, perhaps from a volcanic eruption. Now, there are two definitions for what a blue moon actually is, and one relates to how many full moons there are in a season. Usually, there's only three full moons in a season, but this spring, there are four. And if the season's got four full moons, then the third is known as the blue moon. And more recently, another definition has become popular that claims the second full moon in a calendar month is the blue moon. So as far as the moon is concerned, it will look big and bright like every other full moon, but sadly, it's not going to turn blue. Now, what about Mars? Yes, it will be brighter, but it won't be noticeably larger unless you're a seasoned observer. All planets move around the sun at different speeds, with those nearer to the sun moving faster than those further out. And because Mars is further out than the Earth, it takes longer to complete one orbit, and as a result, every so often it lies at a position that astronomers call opposition, which is when the Earth is directly between the Sun and Mars. When Mars is at opposition, it's closer and brighter than usual, as it will be this weekend, but to the naked eye, it will only look like it's brighter than usual. What can we expect to see? Well, for the next few nights, the two of them, the Moon and Mars, will be close in the sky, but tonight, on the 21st of May, the blue moon, which isn't actually blue, will be just five degrees to the north of the bright red Mars, which will just look like a bright red star. Now, I've been pretty negative about this whole thing, but the sight of a stunning full moon sitting close to Mars, shining bright red, will still be pretty spectacular. If you want to see it for yourself, you just need clear skies, get outside, maybe with a pair of binoculars, and you'll still be treated to a beautiful view.